Hey, Pentax Tips here. We will be covering how to convert your SDM lens to use ScrewDrive instead. Skip ahead right here for instructions, but if not, here's some background. When Pentax introduced their first line of silent in-lens focusing SDM motors, they wanted to include backwards compatibility for older cameras that did not support this new technology. Therefore, Pentax implemented both SDM and ScrewDrive autofocus systems in their lenses. However, specifically their earlier SDM motors, these lenses began experiencing sluggish focusing or even quit out entirely. This issue would especially be experienced after the lens had been stored for long periods of time. So it's especially recommended to keep exercising these lenses autofocus from time to time. In addition, many users report success in waking up their SDM motors by holding down the autofocus while briskly turning the manual focus ring back and forth. I have heard that a bit of percussive maintenance has also gotten the lens to wake up. However, if none of these options work for you, the following video will demonstrate how to extract the source code from the lens, make the necessary code modifications, and load the modified code back into the lens to override the SDM and have full-time screw drive autofocus. We have the 50 to 135, which is compatible with the SDM to screw drive conversion. Check the link in the description for all the lenses that are capable of making the conversion. You also need to have a compatible camera for this conversion. Again, please check the description for a list of compatible cameras. I believe the camera needs to be older than and including the K5. I do have my K5 here, which is compatible of completing this lens conversion. Make sure you have a formatted SD card ready to go, loaded in the slot, and the lens you want to convert attached to your camera. Next, we need to download this program called PK Tether. The Google Link Drive is in the description. I downloaded the .zip, right click, extract all. Once complete, you can run the application. Click OK for any error prompts. Those error prompts remain until a setting config file is saved, no problems. Once the program opens, connect your camera to the computer using the USB cable and plug it into the PC AV port of your camera. I believe that's the Pentax I USB 7 USB cable. Next, turn the camera on and the program will detect your camera. Click on this tab called debug mode and select camera debug mode on in the drop down menu and the camera will enter debug mode. Your camera will quickly flash PC vendor really quick. Check that your camera is in debug mode by pressing menu, scrolling all the way off the screen and it will show that it's in test mode. Next, dependent on which camera you're using, you're going to need to copy over appropriate files to your SD card to enable a development menu within the debug mode. Again, check out the link in the description for the Dropbox files. Since I'm using a K5, I open up this K5 folder, download the two files, right click that downloaded file, extract all, and these are the two files we're looking for. Next, I'm going to open my SD card root directory to get it ready to receive these files. Since the camera is still plugged in, I can access the SD card through the computer interface. And then copy these two files we just downloaded into the SD card root directory. So now we should have used PK Tether to set up the camera in debug mode and we have transferred the camera specific debug files over to the SD card. We can now turn off the camera, unplug the camera, and turn it back on. We should see the development menu now. Scroll all the way to menu number four, the lens ROM dat camera to SD option is the one we're looking for. This will copy over the lens source code to your SD card. Select that option. The screen will flash black and turn back on once complete. Now turn off your camera, extract your SD card, and using an SD card reader, plug the card into your computer. Now we need to make some changes to the source code we just extracted. In Windows Explorer, in the SD card root directory, you should now have a .lns file. We should make a direct copy of this file and save it as a backup in case something goes wrong with editing this file. Easy way to do that is over on one of your computer's hard drives, make a parent folder named mine SDM backup, and inside that parent folder, we have two other folders, one called backup and one called new. Now we just click and drag the file to copy one into each folder. Now we should have two files with the same name stored in separate locations. We can now delete this file off of our SD card. With the file we want to edit, right click and open the code in your favorite code editor. Here we use the free Notepad++. Please check a link in the description for the Notepad++ download. 
In Notepad++, we see the code is parsed by rows and columns. We will need to edit every C0 that appears in column 3. We'll need to edit that to an 80. Eight zero. Best way to do this is to use find and replace. So go to the search tab at the top, click find. In the pop-up prompt on the find tab, type in C0 and scroll through the list to see where any C0s may exist outside of that 03 column. As you can see, there are two locations in my source code that have C0 that are not within column three. We'll write down these on a piece of paper for the location of these cases. So we have row 07E0 in column 05, and also in row 03E0, also in column 5. Now back in the search tab, drop down to find. This time we click the replace tab and enter in our desired values to be found. C0 and to be replaced is 80, and click replace all. Now we go back to those two locations we had previously recorded and change those values back to a C0. This one location at the 07E0 and this other location at 03E0. Now we have successfully modified the source code, let's copy and paste the file back onto the root of our SD card. Make sure it's the original file name still, can't have any file name changes. You can now safely eject the SD card, which is then placed back in your camera. Turn the camera on, we are still in the development menu of debug mode. We're going to scroll all the way back down until you see the reverse option from before. This time we're going to select lens rom dat sd to camera. This will upload the newly edited source code back to the lens. Select OK. Please note if the process fails, it most likely will. Just turn off the camera and turn it back on and try again. But you'll see the source code being read on the screen. Once complete. Hit menu once to close the debug mode. Hit menu again and cycle over to the test mode menu. Go down to debug mode disable and select disable. Now we hit menu again to format the card and complete. This modification has now allowed the lens to use its screw drive autofocus across all cameras. If this process is overwhelming, there's help. Big shout out to Uncle Vanya over at Pentax Forums. You can find a link in the description for his services. And that's it. If you like this content and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. Thanks.